what's up guys Chris here from Review and Stuff with a gameplay um, review type of video of APB it's all points bulletin it's kind of a cops and robbers open world Grand Theft Auto type game as you can see this is my character I'm welding a pistol and I also have a sniper rifle uh, I completely customized my character how I wanted him to look and from what you can see here I'm in this base where there's this um character here pagan blood rose that you can pledge to and once you pledge to them you could level up with their um with them and kind of buy whatever they have and you could unlock that but i can't really unlock anything here since i'm not pledged i'm pledged to someone else even though i think i can pledge in this in this world since i have a different um character that i pledge to in a different world so here you see the tabs you could pay off basically your level this is how in how much trouble you are you could pay that off to get rid of it you could buy all these things as you can see these are the things that are unlocked I just don't have enough money R is your rank and later on all these things are locked and you unlock them by pledging to different characters and working for them you can also sell the things you have right here see my rank is 25 haven't been playing for too long as you can see this is, this is a whole other character I am a criminal villain kind of and um, there's also enforcers and the point of this game is to do the missions that you are here to do as you can see that's a cop right there I can't shoot him because I'm not on a mission that's just how it's um how it is you walk around and you can't really hurt anyone unless you have five stars of um of five stars on the top left as you can see there so here's the parking lot where you can spawn your own car. This is uh, someone else's car. They completely customized it, unless that's how they bought the car. As you can see, I'll just spawn my car here. I have this car right here. I just did some random thing right now just to match it right before I started this video. This is a car I have. This is the second car that I've had. You have your original default car, and then you can buy a car. You can have your own music player, put your music to it. One thing I dislike about the driving is that it's kind of a late when you turn you actually have to wait a couple milliseconds to actually have the car to turn but you get used to it as you can see I'm already used to the turning and it all depends on the cars some cars are faster some cars are slower see these are other characters right there probably on the mission and that Terry Quan right there that's a whole different character that you could pledge to I'm just riding around here. This is also a um, a garage where you could spawn your car if your car gets messed up, anything like that. I'm on the lowest graphics right now just because I don't want my frame rate to drop in the video. Hopefully it's not actually going to drop. And the thing about this is I'm a criminal. I can mug people. I can steal cars and bring it into um, chop shops and sell it. Let's see, is that a cop right there? Nope. Because if I do get caught by a cop, I can actually get shot at. So I'm just going to mug this guy right here. As you can see, I kind of scare him a little bit. And I'm going to get some money for that. And he might, well this guy didn't, but he might drop some items like cell phones or jewelry. And with that, I could bring it to um to my the character I'm pledging to or any other character and just get money for that and get money in return for that a certain percentage if it's more or less I just got hit by another character this is an open beta um, game right now so it's not gonna be perfect it is kinda choppy the servers as you can see my car just turned well you're not gonna know but I stopped pressing the right arrow key and it kept going kept turning so you see he has this armor on him. You can um, have little groups or little guilds, clans, whatever you like to call that. And you can work on these things together. So I'm going to go ahead and press ready, see what I can do for a mission, see where they'll... As you can see, I have to stop... Um, right, yeah, so the language in here, as you can see on the top right, isn't really that well. I have to stop the tigers raiding our smuggling office. So I'm actually going against someone. I have to go stop this guy.
Okay, so he's not here yet. What I have to do is I have to wait for this guy to actually come. What I usually do is I sit in a corner and kind of camp the area and listen for his car. I think that's his car right there. Yeah, you can see him on the map. If he sprints or anything like that, you can actually see that on the map. I think he's going to come in through here. You'll hear if he's climbing a ladder. Yep. See, I killed him right there with a sniper rifle. I don't know how I did that since I was that close. What I'm going to do is I'm going to open my little supply box and change my weapon so I can um, kill him easier. I'm going to change to my my small um, the name of the gun actually just yeah, SMG or whatever that's called it's it's the name of the gun actually just escaped my mind so as you can see the ammo refills I have to put that away and I'm gonna keep defending this from this guy he's coming up right here alright he killed me right there um, so he's gonna go do that He's going to raid it. He's going to take whatever's inside and have to stop him from bringing it to the next objective. And I'm going to get the uh, the next the next location on the map in a second. And on the map, you see the little car. That's how I know where to go, where to get my car from.